Hey Taurus, welcome to Eight of Cups Tarot. Um, I'm working on your love reading for mid-January 2020. Uh, and here's what I want to say to you, Taurus. This is kind of similar to the Scorpio reading that I did. And that makes sense, right? Because both you and Scorpio are really dealing with Uranus right now. Uh, you have Uranus in your sign and Scorpio, they are opposing him. So uh, it's a similar energy, but I feel like uh, Scorpio was a little bit of a victim in their reading. Not that I like to use that term. Uh, but Taurus, you're coming up a little bit like the catalyst in yours. <laughs> and let me explain. Um, so first of all, if this doesn't resonate, don't make it fit. Don't ever give a tarot reader that type of power. You'll know when it resonates and when it makes sense to you. Um, and if it doesn't, it's just not your message. Uh, check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus, especially moon and Venus for love readings. If you don't know that information, you could run your chart as long as you know your birth time uh, at astro.com or uh, cafeastrology.com. Those are some great websites. Uh, energy can be read vice versa. So um, I'm going to refer to this pile of cards as you and this pile of cards as your person. But it may be vice versa because energy is not linear. So if it is, just interpret it however it fits for you um so starting the reading taurus your energy eight of cups in reverse okay so sometimes i think okay you're refusing to walk away from something but i think it's a little different because crossing you you got the king of cups um and so below you have the Ten of Cups. So I actually think, and when I started this reading, I actually had to re-record because even though I do not disturb on, I still have calls coming through that's making me crazy. Um, but the overall energy before I pulled a couple more cards for you guys was the moon. So... Um, Taurus, the feeling I get is that you are actually walking away from possibly a water sign. Um, and I think you're walking away from the emotional investment. I think you're at a point here where you know you're going to either have to invest emotionally or cut it off completely. And you don't feel as though this is something that you can emotionally invest in right now. Um, and in fact, I don't think you want to invest in it at all. Because below you is a Ten of Cups in reverse. And above you is the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So I do think that you've made a very clear decision that you no longer want to work on this relationship. In your recent past, you've got the Five of Swords. So either there was a lot of drama, conflict, or fighting between your person, or there was a lot of inner conflict in your head over the situation um, and I do believe that you are not fighting for this connection anymore whatsoever but here's the thing Taurus um, first of all your person that king of cups they really do love you and I'm not sure what happened to make you kind of switch and um, become so cold towards them? I don't know what happened, but most importantly, I don't think they know what happened either. I think they're really, really confused. Um, I think that 
you have the judgment in reverse. They have the judgment in reverse. Crossed by the five of cups. So, um, it's like you cut them off, Taurus. Abruptly, I think. Abruptly drop them. And uh, I think that they're left not understanding how or why something like this happened. Uh, below them, again, another moon in here. So the moon played really prevalent in this reading all throughout. Um, but the two of swords, it was like a decision was made. Um, someone cut someone out there. Uh, but she has blindfolds on. So I just want to understand, um, which is why I pulled a couple extra cards for you before I had to re-record. The moon is there and the blindfold is on. So I think, Taurus, it was you that decided to cut this person out but I don't think you really realized what you were doing. And it came to me a couple minutes ago that I think that um, you don't have all of this story yet. I, I feel like maybe somebody gave you bad information or you've jumped to a rather incorrect assumption about this person. Um, and and I do get a very a feeling of defensiveness over here. Um, your energy is defensive. And they didn't do anything to deserve that. Um, and it looks like you guys... They have Hangman in reverse. So it's telling me that your person feels like they just have absolutely no control over the situation. There's nothing they could do or say to make you understand them. You're not listening to them. You're not talking to them. You've cut them off. Um, and they're really confused. And, and maybe in the recent future, there was some sort of communication I'm getting, page of wands. Uh, but in reverse, it feels like whatever communication or promises that were made, no one ever bothered through, to follow through or they weren't followed through with uh, or they weren't meant, they weren't sincere maybe. They didn't come from the heart and that's how they see it. But you see this person your king of cups, Taurus, they really do love you. And they would be willing to do this over and over and over again for you. It's like the cycle that they'll continue to put themselves in. Um, and why? Because overall, Taurus, you are their king of pentacles. And I think that um, whatever you guys are going through, or however your situation has played out since you've been in each other's lives, I think they find you as a center of stability. Now, maybe that's not healthy. Maybe there is a codependency issue there. And when you have Uranus moving in your sign, Taurus, you know, any signs of clinginess or codependency is going to make you want to run away uh, because there's an inner need for freedom right now. But... Uh, this person is devastated. And I think that uh, the two extra cards that I pulled, the Seven of Cups, Temperance in Reverse. Um, so I think you're both really confused. Taurus, I feel like maybe... You just want to look at your options or you're excited to dive in and have those options. Um, it's, it's an exciting, you know, time of freedom in your life. Um, and I think that you're kind of really ready to go after it. 
uh, and there's just absolutely nothing that makes you want to work on this situation um, or even manipulate it or try to make it seem better. You know, this is really a clear indication that you're done and walking away. But uh, just so you're well aware, it could take your person a little bit longer to get there. And if you want to help that situation, you know, maybe enlightening them um, or allowing that communication and closure to occur for them. Um, and you know what, Taurus, if you're ghosting then honestly, you're just in a really unhealthy place and you shouldn't be dating at all. I just tell that to everybody. If you feel the need to ghost another human being, then you have so many issues that aren't healed that you have no business dating anyone. Um, but I don't know if that's the case for you, Taurus. I, don't, I just think that you're just having a hard time understanding yourself. And therefore, this person is stuck wondering what the heck they did wrong. So even if you have to have that hard conversation, even if you have to tell a significant other that you're in love with somebody else or you kind of want to be single for a while and play the field, you know, even if it is uncomfortable, uh, there's always there's there's dharma in doing the right thing and explaining it and allowing this other person that you once did care for. Uh, to have the closure that they need so that they can move on with their life. I'm going to pull a couple animal cards really quick. One for your person, one for you. And you all know who's who. I think in the last reading when I did Scorpio, they seemed to me, at least, to come out backwards. Um, so... You'll know who the energy is, okay? Starfish. Oh, Lord, I am not taking those. And the oyster. Starfish. Beautiful, alluring, superficial, or shallow. The starfish is a natural and exquisite beauty mesmerizing to all. Being around someone with starfish energy is a thrill, like you've been put under a spell of divinity itself. The problem is these creatures have been reliant on how they look and what other people think of them for so long that they may have forgotten their deeper callings. When this card appears, it's important to ask, am I being swayed by outward appearances? What dreams have I put aside to please others? When in balance, you are uplifting, artistic, and expressive. When out of balance, gossips and feels empty. And to bring into balance, positive friends. Okay. And then the other energy is the oyster. Patient, secret keeper, hiding inner treasures. The focus and determination of the oyster is unmatched. Anything an oyster personality puts their mind to, they achieve with grace and charm. The only problem is oyster types often take their inner gifts for granted. They become shy or doubtful, and this can lead to withdrawing or protecting their deepest desires and life's work. When the oyster card appears, it's important to reveal your inner treasures. What is it you've been hesitant to share? The world is waiting to see. When in balance feels blessed, generous, and masterful. 
When out of balance, reluctant, gripping, and clams up. To bring into balance, share something. All right, Taurus, um, I'm going to be seeing you extremely soon. I'll be working on your February 2020 readings. Um, everybody take care, and I'll see you later. Bye.